Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, this is Aishwarya from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. The topic that we are going to discuss today is functions in C programming. So functions can be considered as a set of code that perform a particular task. So functions are defined separately from your main function. So whenever you want to use that particular function, you pass the required data and call the function. And after performing the task in that function, the value will be written back to the main function. So functions make the code modular. That is your main, like uh, the main execution of code and what function you are going to perform can be separated. By using that, the functions can be reused in a multiple set of code. So we have two types of functions. One is predefined, the other one is user defined. So the functions like scan of, print of, all that we use in all our C programs, they are all defined under the header file called as standard input output dot h. So these definitions will be available in the header files. So whenever you want to use those functions, we just need to include the header files. So we can use it as many as times we want without defining what printf and scanf has to do. So what our user defined functions is that we need to define the functions in our program and we can use it as many times as we want. So this is how basically a function will look like. So by default, we'll have a include header file standard in io.h and after that we need to declare what function we are going to define and use in our code. So first the syntax will be like we'll have the return type, then the function name and uh, how many of our arguments we are going to use along with the data type of it. So after that you will have your main function. After defining the main function you can also define your actual function that you are going to create. So again the same declaration will be used here and here you are going to define what the particular function is going to do. So that is called as the body of your function. So if at all you want to use that function you need to call the function in your main function. So here this particular line which represents the function name is called as a function call. So when you are executing the main function, the main function will call this function and use it and after that the control will be returned back to the main function. You can consider this example to know how a particular function works. So here I have included the stdio.h and I have defined my user defined function called as void display. So here the return type is void and there are no arguments passed to it. So this particular line is called as function declaration. The purpose of this line is that it informs the compiler that there is a function called display that is defined in this particular program. So after the function declaration, I have got the main function. I have got just one line in the main function called as printf and hello. And after that, I am going to call my function, user defined function called as display. So after this, I have defined my user defined function void display. So here what, how the program will work is like, the compiler will start executing from the first line, line by line and when the control comes to printf, it will actually print this particular output and then call this display function. So when it is called, the control will come back to your void function and then here this particular line printf of display function will be displayed and then the control will go back to your main function. So this is how a function works. So we have four types of functions. So functions with no arguments and no return value function with no arguments and with a return value, function with argument and no return value and function with arguments and return value. So we will see the first type. So here we are, I have created a function to do addition. So first we declare the function and then in the main part I have got a just a print of statement that prints inside main function. So here I am going to call the function called as addition. So here it is no argument and no return value which means that I am not going to pass any argument to the addition function nor I will get back any value from the addition function to my main function. I will just call it, the function will be executed after that the control will be returned back to the main function. So when a function call is initiated what will happen is, so here I have got a print of statement that prints executing the addition function. After that I have declared three variables called as sum a equal to 10 and b equal to 20. So here I am performing the addition of a and b. So here after performing addition, I am printing the same in the addition function itself. So here the printf statement will print this particular thing and after this function is executed, what will happen is the control will go back to the main function and the return 0 will be executed. So here the return type is void which means that there is no return value as well as no argument is passed to this particular function. This is our second type wherein there are no arguments and we have a return value. 
So here the first uh, till your printf function it, it is just the same and here I have created a variable called as result. So this result function is going to call your addition function. So here the addition function I am not passing any value to the addition function. So here the, when this particular line is executed this addition function will be invoked. So here inside the addition function I am creating the t variables called as a, b and sum and here Again, I am getting the values from the user through printf and scanf and the value will be added and saved in the sum. So I am going to now pass this value to my main function and hence the statement called as return sum. So sum is a integer type and hence I have written like uh, the in return type is specified as int. So this sum will be saved inside the result. So when I print this particular result, the value that was added in your uh, user defined function will be displayed here. So the third type that you are going to see today is with arguments and with no return value. So here we have got arguments that will be passed from your main function to your user defined function. So but there is no return value and hence it is void and I am going to pass two integers to my user defined function. So here in my main function I am creating two integer values variables and I am going to get the values from the user dynamically. So the value that has been got from the user will be passed here. So addition of a and b. So these two vari integer variables will be passed to my user defined function. Again they will be saved in the parameters that I have mentioned here as a and b. So in my user defined function I have got again a sum variable. So when sum is performing addition of a and b the value that was got from the user in the main function that will be used here. So the added value will be saved in sum and here itself I am printing it without returning anything to my main function. So my fourth type is with return value as well as with the arguments. So here I have got both the return type as well as both the like arguments for passing and both of them are integers. So here in the main function again I am creating three variables one for to store the input a and b and the other one for the result. So in the printf statement I am going to get the values from the user through printf and scanf and when performing addition. I am going to call the addition function by passing the value that I have got from the user a and b. So here this particular line is a function call. So the addition function will be called here. So here I am performing addition of a and b and returning to it to the main function and the added value will be saved in the sum. So this particular sum will hold the added value that was performed in addition and here I am going to print it in this particular line. So the sum will print it that output is addition of the input 10 and 20 is 30. So thank you.